Welcome, Morgan. First up, we'll go to Lance Hornby, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Lance. Uh, Morgan, what's the feeling around there this morning? Certainly uh, with uh, some good news about John and uh, and looking ahead to game two. Yeah, I mean, as it relates to John, um, I think we're happy that um, he's up and talking and I think he's feeling okay. Obviously, you know, a bit of a scary situation, but, um, you know, we're happy that he's doing okay. And in terms of game two, we're just, um, you know, trying to work. Uh, I mean, had a good practice day, had a good meeting. We know what we have to do. Um, it's up to us now to go out there and work and uh, even this thing up. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Morgan, Austin was just telling us that John does a lot behind the scenes that obviously we don't see. How would you characterize what you're missing with, with him out of the equation right now? Yeah, I mean, that's your captain. Um, I think he has a lot on his plate just on a day-to-day -day, um, in that role, and I think he handles it with class. Um, and obviously on the ice, uh, his play speaks for itself. So, I mean, missing him it, it is tough, but, you know, the expectation is that um, – and we're going to have guys that can embrace bigger roles and step up and play well. And, um, you know, in order to get back in the series, that's what we're going to need. So, um, I mean, we know how to do it. We got the guys that can do it. Now it's about going out there and executing and working and making sure it gets done. In that vein, what have you seen from the group this season when you have faced the adversity that uh, gives you confidence that you can meet this moment? Yeah, I think we, we've always been able to respond. Um, I mean, we knew that, you know, during this playoff journey, um, you know, it wasn't always going to be easy. We weren't going to win every game. Uh, you know, losses are bound to happen. So now it's important that we we respond. Uh, you know, we come back tomorrow confident, um, you know, with belief in our group. Um, so the challenge is on us now to, to bring it tomorrow and really show up. Next up, we'll go to Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, Morgan, I'm, I'm just wondering from the hockey standpoint of last night, where, where do you think the game can be cleaned up or improved in? I think generally speaking, obviously the power play. Um, you know, can be better. I thought the PK was pretty good. Um, and I think that, you know, our team can just play with more speed. I think that um, at times we got stalled a little bit and we weren't really moving our feet, especially as D-man. And um, I think that impacts the four check when we got guys at the blue line, not with speed. We put it in. It's, um, I mean, it's easier on their D to break out. So generally speaking, I think there's um, more speed to be had by us and, uh, you know, playing harder, you um, on the four check and that's timing the speed and everything. So uh, I mean, we know what we have to clean up and we talked about some other stuff here today that is important that we carry over to the more nice game. And last two questions here, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Hey Morgan, I'm just wondering what the message from Sheldon was this morning. I mean, you guys had a, a night to sleep on on the news about John. I know you got news that he's feeling better, but, but just the message from Sheldon and just the mood around the group in general. In terms of John in particular? Yeah, just the mood around the group, having known what 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 happened last night, and you know, is is it was it easy to come to practice this morning? Like, you know, it seemed like the guys took a while to get back into the game yesterday. Like, what was it? Are you, have you moved past it, kind of thing? Oh no, I don't think we moved past it. I think John's a huge part of our group, um, and I mean, we're going to be thinking about him every day, um, you know, until he comes back, until he's feeling good. Uh, but I mean, I think that here today. Um, the attitude was we have to get ready for game two. Uh, I mean, we heard from John last night. I spoke to him this morning. Um, you know, obviously it's a, it's a tough situation. Um, I mean, those times can be emotional when there's a person on the ice that you care about and a teammate that, um, you know, means a lot to this group. Uh, but that being said, um, you know, he kind of touched base with us last night just to kind of make sure that we knew that he was doing okay. And now it's on us to get ready for game two. Um, I mean, obviously there's a, it's a tough feeling not having him around, but um, I mean, he wants nothing more than for us to win. So it's important that we take their responsibility and we show up tomorrow ready to play. Next up, we'll go to Eric Engels of Sportsnet. Go ahead, Eric. Good morning. In your experience, which is now quite varied, how do you navigate the pressure, especially when it ramps up like it like it has with you guys losing game one? Well, I, I, I mean, just like I think as a group, you have to show up. I mean, you have to come here and work. You have to talk about what you can do better. You have to have a positive attitude, be confident. You know, we have a lot of belief in our group and we have to go out tomorrow and change the narrative. I mean, they're up one nothing. We got to tie it up. Um, you know, and if that doesn't happen, we move forward. We do it again. We show up. We work. Um, we keep getting better. We keep growing. Um, we address what we need to change. We address what we have done well and need to build on. Um, and we move forward. I mean, in terms of pressure, I mean, that just comes from within. I mean, nobody wants to win more than the people in this room. So, um, you know, it's on us to, to 
to work here today and, and to prepare here today and, to, um, and tonight and make sure that we're ready to go tomorrow. And uh, I mean, we're down in the series. We have to show up. And sorry, one more here. We'll go to Jonas Siegel with The Athletic. Go ahead, Jonas. Hey, Morgan, I just wondered, you mentioned a conversation with John this morning. What, what was that like? Just checking in, just, you know, asking if he needs anything. Uh, I mean, to be quite honest, I didn't know where he was, you know, whether he was at home yet or not. Just, you know, just checking on your guy. That's all. Um, and I, I mean, he's in good hands. Um, I mean, our staff here uh, in Toronto is world class and he, he got taken care of. He's feeling better. And um, I mean, like I said, nobody wants us to, to prepare today and to work and to be there tomorrow for, you know, good effort more than him. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we're playing for him. Thanks, Morgan.